Would you bury yourself underground for 50 hours with only a walkie-talkie as your lifeline? I know, me neither. It works. But there's one guy who did it on purpose and survived. We're talking about you, Mr. Beast. Seal me up! But how did he do it? Could anyone survive this challenge if they had a big production crew like Mr. Beast? Or does it require a certain set of skills? There's only one way to find out. Grab a shovel and pay attention, because we're about to go six feet under. Here's how to survive being buried alive like Mr. Beast. Jimmy Donaldson is a brave young American YouTube star, better known as Mr. Beast. In 2021, he subjected himself to one of the most terrifying nightmares anyone can experience, being buried alive in a coffin. It's a challenge that even the most famous and experienced escape artist in history had never managed to pull off. But he did. Today, we take you underground to explain his secrets of survival. Start the clock, because you have to stay down there for 50 hours. How long will it take you to run out of oxygen? What happens if you hold your pee the whole time? And how can lying still kill you? 50 hours remaining. The timer is set and the dirt is piled on top of your coffin. You've prepared for the challenge mentally, so you stay calm for the first few hours. But soon you notice you're running out of the most essential resource, oxygen. With your body inside, the average coffin can hold about 820 liters of air but only one-fifth of that is breathable oxygen. Someone like you and me consumes 0.5 liters of oxygen every minute. Do the math. You have only five hours before you die of asphyxiation. I'm sorry, buddy. But let's assume that, like Mr. Beast, you've installed a ventilation system that provides you with fresh air so you can make it through to the end of the challenge. 40 hours remaining. You can survive 50 hours without eating or drinking, but there's no point in making this even harder, right? So you'd better prepare some snacks and drinks. Remember to bring hand sanitizer, especially for this next part. Drinking also means you'll have to, you know, take a leak. You can't hold your pee for more than 10 hours without potentially damaging your bladder and kidneys. So you'd better have a sealable container ready so you can pee without contaminating the air inside the casket. As for poop, you can follow Mr. Beast's advice. Just hold it in. 30 hours remaining. You've spent 20 hours underground and counting. At this point, Jimmy was smelly, experiencing back pain, and becoming claustrophobic. He was also incredibly bored. Having ways to distract yourself, like with the radio, can help with the boredom. You can also bring a couple of books to keep you entertained. 20 hours remaining. When Jimmy shifted himself around to explore the other end of the coffin, it was the move that might have been the key to his survival. After more than a full day laying flat inside a coffin, your lungs will be held down by gravity in a position that can lead to mucus being trapped. This can cause fluid buildup in your lungs, which could result in a nasty case of pneumonia waiting for you when you make it back to the surface. 10 hours remaining. You're almost there, but the last mile is always the longest, right? You feel anxious, claustrophobic, and even experience a panic attack. If that happens, experts recommend some techniques to stop it. Closing your eyes will reduce the stressful stimuli around you deep breathing will help fight off the risk of hyperventilating. You can also focus on an object and describe it to yourself in detail. This will clear your mind and help you cope with anxiety. The fireworks go off. You've made it. So long, oh my gosh. Feel free to cry for joy as a tractor pulls you out of your temporary early grave. 
you might want to celebrate with a spectacular dinner. Speaking of fireworks, how about trying the hottest pepper on the planet? People all over the world are undertaking this challenge, but many don't know that they can actually die doing it. Do you want to know how? Just keep watching here on How to Survive.